This is the Making Noise podcast. School started back up, and the counter and I had this conversation where uh, I, I think this was like just the moment that was like, oh shit, yeah, I gotta get my shit together and just be real with myself, right? Uh, and so he basically, our conversation uh, basically came down to like, you're good. You're a very good flute player. You're an incredible musician. But so is everyone else. Mm-hmm. What what are you going to do that is going to make you win that job and not get into more debt and not put yourself in a position where it's not even worth it anymore? I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like it was a hard conversation to have and a hard thing to hear uh, but I I thank Connor all the time for just like being that real person. So many teachers are like, no, yeah, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. You know, they just let they just let their students do their thing. But he was just like, we let's be real. Let's look at all the very real things in your life. Mm-hmm. Now, how are you going to make that happen? Here's an opportunity that sounds like yeah, it might suck, but this other path sounds like it probably sucks too. So which suck do you want to do? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he didn't say that at all. But yeah, it was just yeah. like, but it's just like, uh, you know, r- truly think about like, what's going to make you happy? And where are you going to get the most stability mm-hmm. so that you can continue to be happy? And I was like, man, that's, that's real. <laughs> you know, like that, that conversation was just so real. And I went and I talked to a recruiter. Um, I'm actually friends with my recruiter still. Uh, he's an incredible person. But I mean, I, I think a little bit of it was just like, I walked in and I was like, okay, I want to join the army. How do I do it? I will only be in the band. You can't make me do anything else. You put another job on the table, I'm out kind of thing, you know? Oh, and he's not, he's, uh, so my recruiter is, uh, he's a Cav Scout. So it's a combat arms uh, job. And he was, uh, you in the army you do what we call broadening assignments and so something like i could do is i could go work at the schoolhouse where all the soldiers go train to be in the army band Uh, and i could do like i could work in supply there i could be some sort of instructor there or i could go work as the music liaison so when you're joining the army in the band you have your local recruiter doing all your army things then you have your music liaison I mean, there's one in each region of the country and they're doing all your auditions and all your music things. Um, so that's some kind of like broadening things I could do. I could also go into real army and be a drill sergeant at basic training if I wanted to go a volunteer to do that um, or go into recruiting. Uh, but pretty much if, if you're trying to make a career out of the army and do a full 20 years, you're going to do some sort of broadening assignment. Uh, and the most uh, common ones for almost the rest of the army are to to go into recruiting and do a couple years recruiting no matter what your job is or to go and be a drill sergeant or some kind of instructor at one of the schools in your job so he was doing this recruiting thing and uh he's like i don't i don't like recruiting but you're easy because you want in uh but you're also difficult because well you're fat <laughs> you know? so i was like yeah let's go to the gym so he was great we worked out all the time and they're like is always super him and like the rest of the people in the office we were always super motivated to like to get me out there and i just i don't know what clicked i was just like yeah this is what i want this, it could have been the student loan repayment it probably was you know looking at sixty five thousand dollars paid over three years towards my student loan debt beautiful yeah Lord. i want that uh, just, <laughs> i know well and then and then on top of that is just like the financial stability um like talking to people who are in the army being like, okay, what do you do? Like, tell me about it. Uh, actually all of that sounds like a lot of fun and like, it's going to work for me. And like, um, so was I financially motivated to start looking into it? Absolutely. I'm not going to lie. Like we all are, Like that's why we go get jobs, you know? Mm. Um, but I, I, I just, I don't think I could have made a better decision with my life, for sure. But I have to say, I mean, because, you know, we met, we met at Bowling Green State University, right? Yeah. In grad school. And um, so I, hard. 
It's a What's trap. That? Don't do it. Grad school's hard. It's a trap. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is a whole thing. It is a whole thing. Um, but like, I, I knew you. I, we met before you started this whole uh, this whole journey. Yeah, well, I was fat. And I, but I remember, like, you were saying how um, a moment ago you said how something clicked. And then all of a sudden you were driven and you were ready to do this thing. And I remember when you had mentioned that you were going to join the army and stuff. And you like, there was, uh, your demeanor was so different. Like yeah? your, your attitude had like, it was, I don't even know how to explain it either. I just remember like um, the couple of times we, we had talked when you were like riding your bicycle everywhere um, oh, yeah, to, yeah. to and from your apartment. Yeah. And, uh, and you just, you weren't a different person, but like, you just, I don't know. You you knew what you were gonna do, and you just did it. Like, <laughs> and, and mission I, oriented. Exactly. Complete yeah. the mission. I was doing it before I enlisted. <laughs> but the thing is, too, is and I don't think I don't think it's unfair or wrong. Like what you said that, um, like you, like, like I totally did it for the money. That's I don't think that's a, a, a terrible thing to say at all. Like, um, which is part of the reason why I'm I'm putting this whole like doing this podcast is to to present to other people who are in the, this transition or in school as music students to figure out how can I do this? Like, what are some of the things that other people are doing? And like, like I said, your journey is unlike other people who I've spoken to and stuff. And, and so it's, it's fantastic. I love hearing all this, 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 everything that you've done, what you've gone through and where you are now. I, I like you're, you're providing so much for people. I have no doubt for me too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think my, it's super cool. Cause like, I would be lying to you if I said, like, I will always be super musically fulfilled in my day job. Currently, I have this woodwind quintet that I play in here at this unit, and it's a traditional quintet, which doesn't happen everywhere. Uh, and we rock, man. Like, we are, we sound good. We vibe. <clears throat> like, you know, it's, it's, inc it's, I've been in a lot of chamber groups and a lot of really good ones. And this, I think, is it has to be my favorite chamber group I've ever been in. It, awesome. If it's not, I don't, I can't think of another one. Uh, I I just said that because I don't, I can't think of another one because I don't want to offend any other chamber group I've been in. Because I love every chamber group I've ever been in. But I don't know. This one is just like it's different. We we vibe really well. Maybe just because it's the longest one I've I've played in. Because you know things change so often in mm. in your masters, but yeah, we're. I'm super musically fulfilled between that and like doing my own projects. Um, but I know that won't always be the case, but what's super cool and unique about the army is like, I'm super busy with my job, but like, it's because I'm putting myself in positions to keep myself busy with projects that I really truly want to do. So I've gotten super into videography and photography uh, because like at the band, I have all these opportunities to do those things. So I'm creating like music videos for different ensembles at the unit. So like I'm getting to use different skill sets that I, I haven't really been able to use in the past. Um, and I have the money to get the things I need to do those fun things. <laughs> so like I'm doing some of this at the unit and I've like, so, yes, I've used some of my equipment, but the army also um, eventually will help me like get the equipment I need for the unit. But I'm getting time to kind of experiment and learn at work with, with those groups so that I also go out and do my own things with this stuff that's mine. Uh, like my camera, I use it at work, um, but I also use it. It's my camera and I, I, I go do all kinds of other projects that so I try to anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I got to you do that uh, commission project that I did when quarantine first started. You know, I had I had plenty of time to be doing that at that at that time. Um, so the army kind of works in cycles. Like right now, I'm super super busy with army work, um, so I don't have a ton of time for my own personal projects. I'm just tired by the time I get home, but it's all stuff that I'm like super excited to be doing. So we're working on this huge holiday production and we're like, it's a tour through El Paso, like holidays in El Paso. So we've taken every little chamber group and we've put them somewhere different in El Paso. And I'm like recording these groups and editing these videos together. And we're going to do this whole concert, just like touring El Paso and talking about different 
things in history and like it's it's a super exciting project uh that i i wouldn't have been able to do that uh with because i wouldn't have had the resources to do something this cool just like out trying to freelance and make it because i'd be so busy trying to freelance and make it you know and not that that's a bad um path for anyone that's just not a path that i i don't i don't like the hustle you know like i i need that stability financially because then i don't have those anxieties uh, like those are anxieties that i i have trouble dealing with but now that i don't have that like i can focus all my attention onto creativity and making things and and doing all these other things mm -hmm.